Well, in a moment, I'll be talking to Environment Secretary Owen Paterson, who's in our Westminster studio. But first, joining me here in the studio is former Queen guitarist Brian May, who's part of the Team Badger campaign group. So, will you mm -hmm. and the campaign group be celebrating tonight? <laughs> Cautiously, I think. Um, yes, we're very pleased. You know, Team Badger includes all those thousands of people who have actually signed the petition. You know, and we've had incredible support from the public. Um, you haven't yeah, won the, the argument, though, have you? That's the problem. The, the war still rages. You know, we perhaps, in a sense, have won a battle, but I don't feel any kind of jubilation because what we need is a complete throwing out of this plan, which, from the beginning, has been seen to be scientifically not justifiable, you know, very unpopular, uh, unworkable, as we've just discovered, and um, really was, I think, in danger of alienating the farmers from the public. You've always said it wouldn't work, culling badges wouldn't we reduce have. the spread of bovine mm. TB. I believe that, because the science tells you that. If they'd gone ahead with these relatively small culls this winter, then would that not have proved your case for you and saved the country-wide badges? I don't think it's worth sacrificing thousands of badgers' lives, because it's already been done. 11,000 badgers died in the RBC report. The RBCT experiment, you know, which took 10 years, took 50 million of the taxpayers' money. The conclusion was culling badgers cannot make any meaningful contribution to the control of TB in cows. I believe what can make a difference is vaccination. And I think the fact that the, the cull is now sidelined, I hope it's blown out of the water, but it's sidelined for the moment. Let's all work together to try and get this vaccination of cows through. Don't let... Because you don't think vaccination of badgers is necessarily going to be effective? I think it's a very good thing to do, and that's what they're doing in Wales. But the, the holy grail is to vaccinate cows. And what I would say to Owen Paterson is, well, I would say don't let him tell you that this is years away. I do not believe this anymore. And I've been to Europe and asked him a lot of in interesting questions, getting a lot of interesting answers. We can actually get our stuff together. We can get the, you know, the, the BCG vaccine isn't licensed yet. The DIVA test isn't licensed yet, but it could happen. And I believe it could happen in a matter of months. And we, instead of heading towards this disastrous and unpopular pilot cull, could be heading towards an incredibly profitable uh, pilot vaccination scheme. I believe we have to vaccinate our cows just as we vaccinate our because, babies. Because you don't understand that farmers need an answer to the bovine TV problem, if even I if you don't believe it's culling badgers. If I was a farmer, I would be angry and I would be fr incredibly frustrated, but be frustrated at successive governments who have not solved your problem. Badgers are not your problem. We will solve the problem, I believe, with vaccination. OK. Brian May, thank you very much for talking to okay. us. And luckily, we can now speak to the Environment Secretary, Owen Paterson. Farmers will be very angry tonight. Even Team Badger say that. It's a bit of a shambles, isn't it, suddenly cancelling the call at this late notice? Uh, well, good evening. This was a cull organised by the farmers and I have to really respect the very difficult decision that the farmers on the ground and the NFU have had to take requesting us to postpone the cull because in the light of the very latest scientifically verifiable figures, they felt after a week's real hard discussion that they just couldn't guarantee to make the 70% figure which is scientifically uh, required. And I have to really respect that, and it shows that the government and the NFU and the farmers on the ground are determined to work with the science, which requires 70%. This is a very difficult decision for them. Many farmers will be bitterly disappointed. Many in my own constituency will be disappointed, but we have to stick with the science. But it's yet one more excuse. We've heard today that it was the weather that was being blamed for this, it was the Olympics because the police manpower couldn't be spared, and now you're saying that it's the farmers. I mean, it's, it's a lot of different excuses to cover up the fact that this policy has fallen to bits at the last moment. No, that's, that's not quite right. Um, these uh, two pilot culls should have started back in the summer, and I think my predecessors took exactly the right decision to accept the request from the police to postpone them till after the Olympics, the Paralympics. We've had extraordinarily bad weather, which has made it difficult for the farmers on the ground. And then there was a legal process. But the, the thing that's made it really difficult is that this very latest, accurate, scientific count has come up with a number for which the NFU uh, companies on the ground had not prepared. What that really shows is how appalling this problem is, that there is this dramatic number of wild animals with the disease. And it shows it... how absolutely determined I am to see that this policy is brought through next summer because there is not a single country in the Western world with a significant cattle population which also suffers from TB where the government does not work with farmers bearing down on wildlife. Look at our neighbours in the Republic of Ireland where the Four Counties Cull showed a 96% reduction in Donegal. 
I talked to a farmer in France this week where they are taking disease wildlife out in Burgundy. I've talked to people but in what, Australia. Why then do all now, the listen, scientific experts very... in this country tell us that a cull is not going to work and strongly suspect you will not bring it in next year for that reason? All the scientists are quite clear that there is a link between badgers and cattle and that it is necessary to bear down on the disease in wildlife. The discussion is how you go about it. And that's why these two pilots were the logical extension of the trials conducted by the last Labour government. The changes were to go over a much larger geographical area, to have clear boundaries at the edges with things like motorways and rivers, and okay. to go for a much more efficient system of culling. We simply have to bear down okay. on this disease. It's cost us so far £100 million last year, £500 million in recent years. Right. We're heading to a bill of a billion pounds. And we have to follow the example of other countries that bear down on disease in wildlife and okay. in cattle, ending up with healthy wildlife and healthy cattle. Owen Patterson, Brian May, thank you both very much for that. John.